Juan Luis Laguna Sorsales was a teenager that a lot of teenage boys around the world would have envied. Born in Navalato, in the state of Sinaloa, Mexico, his mother left him with his grandmother as a child and he never knew his father. Rosales then lived with his grandmother until the age of 15, where he dropped out of high school and left his hometown of Navolato. He made the nearby town of Culiacan his new home. At that time, he made a living by washing cars. However, by the time he was 17 years old, he had begun to make a very good living for someone his age. But apart from the money he made, the one thing that was sure to make people wish they were in his shoes was the way he made his money. Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales was a partier, and that may as well have been his profession. He would post videos on social media of himself drinking excessively. Most of the time in the videos he made, he was either drunk enough to pass out or on his way there. His videos showcased him drinking bottles and cans of beer, as well as bottles of whiskey and other alcoholic drinks. Sometimes, he would get so drunk that he would actually pass out. Strangely enough, his videos started going viral. People from all over Mexico and beyond found him entertaining. They liked watching him drink extraordinary amounts of alcohol and sometimes do drugs. The silly jokes he made, the funny things he did while drunk and sometimes even sober, and his clownish behavior in general was entertaining and attracted a lot of fans and followers to his social media. On Instagram, he had over 300,000 followers, and on Facebook, his follower count was more than 1 million. He was a social media sensation. Juan Luis was widely known by the nickname he had adopted, El Pirata de Culiacan, which means the Pirate of Culiacan, a name which was inspired by his implied fondness of his new hometown. The Pirate of Culiacan's increasing social media popularity earned him spots as a guest in music videos and in several parties and promotional events. Anyone not familiar with his age might have found it difficult to believe that Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales was just 17 years old. His lifestyle gave no clues to the fact that he was not even a legal adult. The legal drinking age in Mexico is 18 years old, but that didn't stop the pirate of Culiacan, who was just 17, from drinking heavily as well as taking and sharing videos of his alcohol-filled lifestyle. It seemed that it was his aim to make people forget just how young he was. He would post pictures and videos of himself on social media with expensive cars, motorcycles, and wads of currency notes. Juan often painted a beard on his face, which transformed his babyish features, making him look much older than he actually was. He also had huge tattoos on both his arms, a tiger and a pirate, as a reference to his nickname. In addition to all of this, the pirate of Culiacan often posted pictures of himself posing with half-naked ladies and even different types of weaponry. It should not come as a surprise that his fame and lifestyle may have gotten into his head. He felt he could say anything that he liked to anyone at all. In his mind, he was probably invincible. It also shouldn't come as a surprise that he broke the law frequently and got away with it every time. Doing drugs, drinking alcohol as a minor, and flaunting weapons. All of these things he did boldly and even shared them online for all the world to see. Yet, the authorities turned a blind eye. Rather than getting a bad rep or a penalty for his gallant disregard for the law, what he got was a growing fan base, celebrity friends, and acquaintances, invites to parties, and business deals. The more daring he became, the more his fame continued to grow, so there was no reason convincing enough for him to stop or slow down. He continued to push boundaries, unrestrained and untouchable. However, one fateful day, he went a little too far. The very business of uploading audacious videos to entertain others, which made him an enviable living, would cost him his life. In December of 2017, Rosales posted yet another video online. In this video, he seemed to be intoxicated. However, this was so common for the pirate of Culiacan that it was almost expected for him to be at least a little tipsy in all his videos. In the video in question, he was anything but reserved, talking with a reckless confidence and with his characteristic air of invincibility. He made bold statements while gesturing at the camera. Under normal circumstances, this video would have passed as just another of the entertainer's stunts. It would have gained him some likes on social media and maybe two, three, or even hundreds of new followers. He would have continued his life as usual. He may have even created a more daring video next time. However, the circumstances were anything but normal. And this was because of the person that Juan Luis had decided to target in the video, El Mencho. <laughs> Papa, yo 
El Mecho a mí me pela la verga. Mamá. Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, more popularly known by his alias El Mencho, is the leader of Cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generación, which translates to New Generation Jalisco Cartel in English. This cartel is one of the most notorious organized crime syndicates in the entire nation of Mexico. They are known as the fastest growing, most violent, and the second most powerful cartel in the country, second only to Cartel de Sinaloa, which was once led by the infamous drug lord El Chapo. The new generation Jalisco cartel is a relatively new cartel. It's just over a decade old, but has grown incredibly fast and has become incredibly powerful. The cartel was formed by a splinter group, which broke off from the syndicate known as the Millennial Cartel. Despite being a young organization, the new generation has drawn the attention of the general populace. They've made headlines several times. Once, they shot down an army helicopter using an RPG and killing six soldiers in order to protect their leader. Another time, they sent the head of a decapitated pig to a former attorney general in an attempt to intimidate him. In addition to these, the cartel has killed judges, policemen, congressmen, and thousands of civilians. One time, they ambushed a group of policemen, killing 14 of them. According to United States officials, the cartel is responsible for supplying more than one-third of all illegal drugs consumed in the U.S. and has even expanded into Europe and Asia. They have several methamphetamine labs throughout Mexico and are also involved in the illegal production and sale of cocaine, as well as crystal meth. What's more, the gang is known for stealing crude oil, selling weapons, kidnapping, extortion, and several other criminal acts of violence. And at the top of this chain of violence and crime is the man known as El Mencho. El Mencho is a man who likes to keep a low profile and remain shrouded in mystery. He is one of the most wanted criminals in the United States and in Mexico. He tops the list as the most wanted drug lord. El Mencho is wanted for drug trafficking, illegal possessions of firearms, and for his involvement in organized crime. His career started in the Millennial Cartel, but after most of his bosses were either killed or arrested, he went on to create his own cartel, the New Generation Jalisco Cartel. Under his direction, the New Generation has achieved top notoriety in Mexico. Everything his cartel's done was directed under his leadership. Reportedly, El Mencho was once a police officer. However, he has no doubt since crossed over to the wrong side of the law. His infamy has earned him a record-breaking bounty set by the United States government. The U.S. authorities are offering a monetary reward of $10 million for anyone who has information leading to his arrest or conviction. So far, this is the highest that has ever been offered by the United States government for a drug lord. In Mexico, the bounty being offered for El Mencho is 30 million pesos, which comes to less than 1.5 million American dollars. Evidently, El Mencho is not the type of guy to be messed around with. It is almost impossible to be familiar with the name El Mencho without being aware of the ruthlessness and violence that has been associated with him and his cartel. However, despite the drug lord's reputation, El Pirata went ahead and took a jab at him. Unfortunately, the young YouTube sensation didn't stop there. He took yet another dangerous step by putting the video on the internet for the viewing pleasure of his masses of fans and anyone who cared to watch it. In the video, Juan Luis said, El Mencho a mi me pela la verga, which roughly translates to, El Mencho, suck my d On the 18th of December, 2017, a Monday night not too long after he released this video, Rosales was out partying with friends at a bar in Jalisco. This was the last party that El Pirata would ever attend. At around 11 p.m., the fun was interrupted by a group of armed men who burst into the bar and started shooting. Even though one of the employees of the bar, a 25-year-old, was also killed, the attack was evidently targeted at Juan. They pumped bullets into his body, killing the young internet celebrity. According to Raul Sanchez Jimenez, the teenager sustained between 15 and 18 bullet wounds. When authorities came to the scene, it was Juan's tattoos that they used to identify the bullet-ridden corpse. Juan's death was one of several during a year which ended as Mexico's deadliest year in recent history. Within the year of 2017, the country recorded over 25,000 homicides. This gave an average of 69 murders per day. The state of Jalisco alone had nearly 1,400 murders in that year. No doubt, Jalisco was a dangerous place. However, Juan seemed to have bitten off more than he could chew the moment he recorded that video and posted it online. 
the killers still have not been identified. And till date, no one has been arrested in relation to the murder of Juan Luis Laguna Rosales. While some may have envied the life that the star once had, it's clear that being in the public eye had its drawbacks. He actually had a good sense of humor and often joked around in his videos about the fact that he was overweight. When he wasn't passed out from intoxication, he was a cheerful, fun teenager who was loved by his friends. However, to make the story of this teenager's death even more disheartening, Juan had been making subtle mentions of his attempts at getting a better lifestyle. Once, during an interview, he admitted that he sometimes takes his drinking too far. The young star had hopes of starting a singing career. In fact, he had signed a deal with a recording label. Unfortunately for him, in the words of his friend and fellow social media celebrity, Beto Sierra, even though Juan wanted to change and live a better life, there was no lack of bad influences. Juan Luis Laguna Rosales had a short life and an even shorter career both of which were ended by one wrong move that he wasn't even given a chance to regret. Don't forget to like this video and share it so you don't miss out on new videos. Hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Until next time.